Hi YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own shoelace finger sling should look something like this now to start with the materials you will need is a shoelace and some glue I've got archery glue for this, fetch and glue um, now to start with there's two ways you can do this one way which is the simple way is to tie a knot in the end of your shoelace like so, creating a loop. Now this means that when you want to use it, you loop it, put it over one finger, and then put it around the bow, loop it, put it on your thumb, and that creates a sling. Now the way I'm going to show you today involves, you're not having to tie it up every time, involves something like the store-bought ones, as you can see here, it's something like this, where it ties on your finger, except and the shoelace one, it doesn't tighten. It should be tight enough just to slip over your finger or thumb and then slip straight over onto your other one. And then this is then strong enough to hold against the bow falling forward, but also loose enough to take off when you finish shooting. Now, to start with, let's just tie and tie this knot. Fold your shoelace in half, like so. Okay, grab, pinch the end, wrap it round two fingers, and push it through. Like this. Okay, make sure that measures up with your finger. Make sure it doesn't fall off. And that is your starting point. Now for the other loop, slightly more tricky. Find about the length you want in between. I normally have about this much. Do that same length again. So you do the length you want. Grip it, length again. Now two fingers again. And push. Shoot it up, making sure there's a loop. Pull the loop up. Like this, and make sure you get it to the right length just to fit over your thumb. Pull that tight, slip it off. Now, this is where the glue comes. If you didn't glue it, then as you can see, if you pull on it, or when the bow goes forward, it'll come loose. So I find to stop this, get your glue, and dab a little bit down there to glue that along there, along the seam, and that should do enough. And let that dry, and that'll be ready to use. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you use it. Okay, so you grab your finger sling. I normally put it on my thumb first. Slide it on. Make sure the tassels are out of the way. Grab your bow. Put your hand in the position. Bring the finger sling round the back slide it onto your other finger and then and then you're ready to use your made finger sling as you can see there's plenty of movement for the bow to fall forward when you let go okay just a little extra to show you with this finger sling as you can see where I'm holding it these tassels are dangling down now you can use these quite nicely if it's very windy out and the targets haven't got a flag, you can actually use these for the wind. So if the wind's blowing, you'll be able to see it's moving and you'll know that if these are blowing really upright, then you know it's going to be a very windy and you might not want to take the shot.